Alright, so this is my film on early child development by Ashley Goffro. Alright, stages of pregnancy. The first month, the baby is an embryo consisting of two layers of cells from which her organs and body parts will develop. As you can see in the picture, she's just a little thing, probably about the size of a hairpin. At six weeks, the lower jaw, tongue, and vocal cords begin to form. Hands and feet are shaped like paddles with thick webbing between the fingers and toes. The baby will start moving her arms and feet. The baby's heartbeat is twice as fast as the mother's, and her heart begins to divide into left and right chambers. And there's a picture on that. Two months. The baby is now the size of a kidney bean and is consistently moving. She has the sink distinct slightly webbed fingers. That's what the baby looks like. At eight weeks, nerve cells in the baby's brain are branching out to connect to one another, forming primitive neural pathways. The baby has translucent eyelids. The baby can now has now has knees and her feet may be long enough to meet in the front of her body. Hands are fixed at the wrist and meet over the heart. Fingers are slightly webbed, but are still growing longer. Ten weeks. The baby's liver is now making blood cells. The yolk sac is no longer needed and starts to disappear. Fingers are completely separated, and fingernails begin to form. Forehead bulges with the baby's developing brain and sits high in her head. Mother's uterus has doubled from the size of a pear to the size of a grapefruit. Twelve weeks. Baby's intestines start to move into her abdominal cavity. Eyelids are less transparent and eyes move closer together. Baby's ears are closer to their final position on the sides of her head. Mother's uterus is starting to rise above her pelvic bones and her waist is thickening. Three months. Baby is about three inches and weighs nearly one one ounce. Her tiny unique fingerprints are now in place. Fourteen weeks. Brain can now send impulses to the baby's face. She can now squint, frown, and grimace. Baby's arms have lengthened and will be in proportion to her body by the end of the week. The baby is starting to develop a fine downy cover of hair all over her body called lanungo. Mother's uterus begins to push against her belly. Four months. Baby is now about five inches long and weighs five ounces. Her skeleton will now start to harden from rubbery cartilage to bone. Eighteen weeks. The baby starts flexing her arms and legs, which is kicking. The baby's ears are in position and stand out from her head. Twenty weeks. The baby is coated in a greasy white substance to protect her skin against the amniotic fluid. The top of the mother's uterus is even with her belly button. Five months. Eyebrows and eyelids are now in place. The baby is more than 10 inches long if you stretch out her legs. Twenty-two weeks. Baby's skin will look wrinkled until she gains enough weight to fill it in. Tooth buds develop under her gums. Baby's eyes are fused shut and eyes are developing underneath them, but the baby has no eye color yet. The mother's belly button will pop out. Twenty-four weeks. Taste buds are developing now. Lungs are developing branches of respiratory tree, of the respiratory tree, as well as cells that produce surfactant, a substance that helps air sacs inflate easily. The baby six months. The baby weighs a pound and a half. Her wrinkled skin is starting to smooth out as she puts on baby fat. 
26 weeks. If the woman is pregnant with a son, his testicles by this time are beginning to descend into his scrotum. This will take two to three days to be finished. The baby's response to sound is growing more consistent. Mother's back may start to ache from her shifting body. 28 weeks. Layers of fat begin to form in preparation for life outside the mother's womb. Baby now has eyelashes and will turn her head toward a continuous bright light shining outside the mother's stomach. 7 months. Baby now weighs 3 pounds and is more than 15 inches long. She can open and close her eyes and follow light. 30 weeks. Baby can now distinguish between light and dark. Amniotic fluid will increase until birth. Mother's uterus will continue to grow and she may feel off balance and clumsy. 32 weeks. Baby's toenails and fingernails have now grown in. Some babies will have a full head of hair while others will only have peach fuzz. Eight months. Baby now weighs about four and three fourth pounds. Her layers of fat are filling her out making her rounder and her lungs are well developed. 34 weeks. Baby is still gaining body fat, which she will need to regulate her body temperature at birth. The lungs are well developed. 99% of babies born at this stage can survive outside the womb. 36 weeks. Braxton Hicks contractions may be a little more frequent. Baby is in head down position by now and is dropping lower into the mother's pelvis. The baby will swallow most of her amniotic fluid and vernix caseosa, which is the white, greasy substance protecting the baby's body from the amniotic fluid. This will turn into a black mixture called meconium that will come out of her first bowel movement. Nine months. The average baby is more than 19 inches and weighs nearly 7 pounds now. The baby is very widely in, this, in size at this stage. 38 weeks. Babies have a firm grip now. If a baby is born with brown eyes, they will most likely stay brown. If she is born with dark gray, blue eyes, or blue eyes, they may stay that color or turn brown, green, or hazel during her first year. 41 weeks. There is less amniotic fluid around the baby now. Baby's skin will start to peel from her long bath and her amniotic fluid. The mother's cervix will soften and dilate to prepare for her childbirth. Birth. Your baby is now out and ready to face the world with you by her side. Yay!